What you see on your screen right now, that is a combination modem and Wi-Fi router supplied by our ISP. Hi, and welcome to our channel, All About Home Electronics. We're in this lightning tip. If you're trying to remotely view your Plex account and you keep getting a double NAT error, our video here could potentially provide the solution. Now, to begin, again, with this being the modem Wi-Fi router from our ISP, and then up here, we installed a separate Wi-Fi router. What we had to do is we called our ISP and we asked them a couple of questions. One, is the Wi-Fi router in the modem that you supplied us active and working? And the answer was yes. So we had to ask them to fully disable the Wi-Fi router. And second, we had to ask, is the modem bridging its internet signal to our standalone Wi-Fi router? And the answer was no. So we then asked them, would you please bridge that? Now we're using the word bridge and a lot of viewers are gonna understand that bridging is a word that's used by the telephone companies and not the cable companies but principally it's the same thing. So we had them deactivate the Wi-Fi router in here, bridge the internet signal from the modem to our Wi-Fi router so that our Wi-Fi router does all of the NAT work, the network address translation work. And as soon as we did that, remote viewing on our Plex account worked and has worked flawlessly. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below the video. Here are a few video links we hope you might find useful. If you liked this video or it helped you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe free to our channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.